Hi there. Today I'm going to make a spinning top out of a aluminium bronze alloy, which is supposed to be golden. We'll see that later on. And well, I'm gonna cast the rough shape, and then I'm going to go over to the lathe and turn it to uh, to, to shape. And then go and polish and sand the stuff. So we'll first start with making the mold. I've already gone ahead and uh, done the quite boring part. And as you can see, it's actually the first time I've separated the two halves, so I hope it's alright. Whoa, that feels weird. I don't know. It's, uh, it's alright. We'll repair that and then we'll go over to the casting, to the furnace, and then cast this shape here. Okay, so I've repaired it, you know, good enough. Doesn't really need to be perfect since we'll use the lathe anyways. And then on this half I've put two holes in there, two funnels basically, to guide the air out. So the casting will be better. Now let's uh, join these two halves together and start casting. Alright, so this is the alloy I'm going to make. It's 5% um, aluminium, as you can see here, and 95% copper. And this will turn into a really nice golden color. And I'll probably have to add a lot more copper to that, because of the great surface area. This will probably oxidize a lot. And we'll see that later on. Okay, let's get this done. Oh man, that was way not enough. Okay, so let's do a little bit of an analysis what happened there. Um, first, the positive. The color is right on. That really, I mean, I don't know how, how well it shows up on camera, but that definitely looks like gold. That's perfect. Now, of course, as you can see, it just was not enough copper. So we'll have to cook up a little bit more and just repeat that. All right, let's try that again. Okay, that was way better. Let's let that cool down and then we'll see how that went. Okay, let's try to separate these halves. First remove the <coughs> pins. No, isn't necessary, actually. And that looks quite promising. Let's get it out there, it's probably Oh yeah, it's f***ing <sighs> Oh yes, that's perfect. Nice. Okay, so let's just look at what we got here. Well, the part is in there. The color is right on. Of course the, the mold wasn't perfect. I was just a little excited about the casting actually uh, work, that, this, that it actually worked this time. Um, but it wasn't too bad, you can actually see the print lines from the 3D printed template on here. Um, now I'll just have to cut off the spruce here um, and put it into the lathe. Okay, so I've gone ahead and used the hacksaw and some files to Cut off all the excess material here, and yeah, I think it's ready for the lathe.
All right, yeah, that's starting to look like something nice. Alright kids, this is why you pay attention in class. I've got the uh, taper here uh, set up and I'll just start uh, cutting the taper. Okay, so I've got Pretty much all the turning done. The tip is finished, and I've actually shortened the. Well, I've shortened the. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, I've shortened this end piece here a little bit because the spinning top seems to be quite unstable for a long shank, so I've shortened it down a little bit. Actually, shouldn't. Actually, I should have done that later on, so I can grip on this thing. Well, it's still in there, right? Using this check. Um, but I'll make do with uh, what I've got on this piece right now. Oh, yeah, and for sanding and polishing, I'm gonna use uh, 600, then 1200, then 1500, and the finishing grid will be 2000. And then I'm gonna use a polishing compound. All right, let's get started. With the 600, of course. Okay, now it's time for polishing. I'm just going to use some polishing paste and some paper towel to get this done. Just put some polishing paste on the paper. That's actually a little bit too much, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Alright, now after polishing, this really looks Pretty nice, it's actually a mirror finish as you can see here. And there's only one last step we'll have to do, which is to put some lacquer on there or some varnish, you know. Um, because copper, of course, uh, corrodes or changes color quite fast when you touch it with your grimy little fingers. So we'll have to put on some coating. Okay, so for the coating, I'm going to use this Zippon lacquer. Not sure whether I'm pronouncing that correct, correctly. Um, and for the brush, I'm using not a brush, but actually this kind of contraption here, because I don't want any of the hairs from the brush sticking on this. Uh, I've had quite a bad experience with normal brushes for this kind of uh, kind of application, so I'm going to use this. I'm just going to. Cold the sh oh no god damn it oh that's that's oh 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 that's not too great um yeah uh shit to wipe that off
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do that again. Uh, I want to do the shaft first because I can then uh, grip onto the shaft uh, and do the rest. Well, we'll have to do that in two passes actually. The great thing about this lacquer is that uh, it kind of distributes on the surface really evenly over time so that you actually don't have to paint it on extremely perfectly because it kind of does the uh, even surface automatically. Okay, that should do it. Alright, so as you can see, the spinning top does definitely work. It's a little tricky to actually get it spinning the way it does right now. Um, maybe the weight distribution isn't correct. I don't know. I'm not an expert in this. But as you can see, it definitely works. And it looks pretty. So, I'm happy with this build. I hope you are too. And see you next time.